so yeah, that keeps going up. Um, wise, so that wouldn't shouldn't take long. Royal marriage from no guy, I'll take that. Um, who else did the Austrians join the war? That did, yes. Actually, I can't remember who was it. Take Azov was this challenge, not Kaffa. I don't know why I went to Kaffa first. Oh well, it doesn't matter either way, really. Because if they had disputed succession, <laughs> they do. No guy have disputed succession. See, I could. So if I go on here, if I go into di the dynastic actions tab, you got all these chan all these tabs open, which means you can just do. Them. I could claim their throne, but I can't because they have a legal heir, and you can only claim a throne. I think if they have no legal heir. And it's, was it no legal errand on air if we claim? So yeah, I can do that. And as expected, Ak Konyulu uh, declared war on Georgia and tribal conquest Cassispelli. Um, so I need just need to wait quite a while really until these sieges take over. So I think I'll just advance time just a little bit until uh, that comes around. So again, it's starting to go a bit faster. Yeah, it, it does. It's not as fast for me for some reason. Europa. Doesn't run very quickly. It does run a big. Does it actually run any quicker? I don't hear. Three speed of that. It is quicker, but I don't think five speed increases at all. That it does. It does a bit. It varies a lot of my games. Normally depends on the mods I've got installed, and since I'm recording, I think that might affect it a bit. But either way, I won't put that speed. I'll put it four. Oh, actually, three, three, four. I'll go for four because I haven't got anything else to do at the minute. And just and since the Ottomans have got us protected here, uh, yeah, I'm actually just just about a profit. Uh, well, I'll pause it now. Nation no guy favorite allies requesting they come in the, against Uzbek. This typically happens at the start of the game. Um, hmm. Difficult choice at the, st at the start of the game, actually. Uh, I will accept it, but I'm probably not going to do anything in the war unless. Because hopefully they'll go to... Yeah, they're going to no guy first. Um, I need to win this war, I think, first. Rather than me trying to attack them. Because that's not going to be really worth it. Um, so what else do I need to uh, Oh, yeah. Um, in Crusader Kings... Well, as you notice on here, you've got an assault button. Similar to Crusader Kings. But <laughs> I've never known anybody use it in Europa. It's it's a pretty pointless button. button because, well, I'm not going to... Well, I could demonstrate it. I'll demonstrate here because it's safer. If I just click Assault now, you'll see. Hopefully, yeah. I never even stood a chance. I only got down their morale to about half. And even though I outnumbered them, that's it's a lot more dangerous in um, Europe. You, have to only, you can only reuse it. I think it's 10 to 1 you have to be in order to have any reasonable effect. I won the Siege of Azov, which is good. And hopefully the Siege of Kaffa might win soon. The Ottomans have arrived for some odd reason. They've got no reason being here. Uh, pause it. Uh, build a great palace. Uh, can I build the palace, which gives us 10 prestige, 20 legitimacy, which would be good, but I lose 17 ducats. All these 10 prestige. Go build the palace. Kazan declared war on the Golden Horde, so they'll be a bit stuck. But then they vent in the military alliance with Uzbek. Surprised. Did not have that at the start. Um, and Timurids joined the Golden Horde in the war against Kazan, so. That's like, all kicking off down here already. Um, what else? Uh, so this siege needs to. Where's the Ottomans going? Yeah, where the hell are they going? I don't know. Uh, siege of Kaffa's over, so now I could probably make peace. <laughs> They're not going to accept it already. Ah, yeah, length of war. Right, okay. Um, so I need these troops to get back up, so I might move them back to just the Crimea, just so they can probably reinforce themselves a bit better over there. Oop, I've got the Golden Horde. Is it? Oop, alright, I want them to come at me. Where are they going? Oop, don't, damn it. Um, yeah, I get all these actions, because I've been a Sunni nation. Uh, so I prefer being more pious, because there's a lot of, uh, if I go on religion, Eventually, I'm going to get Orthodox or Christian either way, unless I just keep going this way, which I don't really want to do. So, I think it's better to be more pious. Uh, right, where else are they going there? Now, heading up. I don't really want to move my units away from here. Really. Um, the Romans got here, pretend. 
I could protect trade actually that's another thing you can do with the trade uh, in Europe Universal so you can have them protect your trade so if I just click that I can send them to Kiev and uh, Crimea I'll just send them to Crimea it's not really going to influence a lot but it's still worth doing uh, oh they've sieged us over here these right I'll move these further forward oh where they're going where they're going where they're going yes that would happen I'd get rebels and Kaffa but it's not going to matter much right they're going to Okay, I'll stay here. This might not be the best decision. Yeah, they're heading to the Crimea now. So I better wait until the 28th. 27th, is it? Okay. So now, since it's one day away, how it works in Europa, is that now they can't turn back. They have to go for their decision. Well, the AI does, anyways, since they're only one day away. So they would have attacked. Hopefully these will get there in time. Don't think they're gonna. They're not, so I'll pull them back. But fresh units here. Well they've got no morale. Boom. Wiped out completely. So that worked very well. Um so now I can probably just attack them. Well, I wanna get rid of these. Because these might uh Revolt, why is that went down? Ah, oh, because they might have called Baden in the war, I suppose. Yeah, I'm going to guess so, it must be. Cause I'm, no, it is going down again. I've got my war goal, so it shouldn't really matter. Huh, I'm just... I still won't even take a white piece. Uh, Austria, Austria might be claiming stuff in the Ottomans, so I'm going to guess. I can't see that's a problem, because I can't see all of the, all of the Ottomans, which is... Bit of a nightmare. Actually, that's something I'll. Well, I won't. I don't need to do it yet because there's nobody's going to be threatening us down here. Um, but what I normally do is, I'll get uh, him to go home. The trade ship, where they stay put. I would normally click this to go home at war because I don't want him. Uh, don't want him getting attacked this time. A golden horde of war game was that. Three wars going on at once. Huh. Bit nagged. Okay, I'll. No, they're not really up to full strength yet. Uh, that was what I was going to do. I was going to recruit an advisor because I'm making actually a pretty decent profit. So I'll go for... Well, that's 4.1 money. I'm only making 2.6. Uh, stability cost modifier will be good. I just need to save that up. It costs uh, admin points, though. In order to increase your stability, if I go on the stability tab, say it costs me... Spend 90. I could do it, I suppose. I'll go on stability one. At least, uh, that's what I prefer going on. A lot of people do prefer stability two. Personally, I prefer one. Because you're still not in danger. I, I, I just don't. Oh, God, I think I'm losing this battle. Oh, no. I, I don't know. Pretty close. Close, I would have liked. But either way, I won that. Okay. Head up to lower Don. If they hurry up, where's all the fighting going on over here? Well, Uzbeks getting owned partly by na nationalists and the Oryat Horde. No guy is beating them at the south. Oh, and Oryat just declared peace on them. So that's a war winning over there. I might see if I can get Manich. Manich is normally a problem that I like going for here. It is tax base 5, so it's pretty decent. I'll explain that very briefly, I'll go into different nations. So you have a tax base here, which basically shows you the wealth of the province. So you've got, in the Golden Horde, you've got four, six, five, six, six, it's, it's one. There's always one in there. Um, but if I go on my province, it actually tells me how much money I'm making. Oh, actually, no, it does on the Golden Horde as well. Didn't even notice it, but that's how much money they're actually making from this province. So they're making 3.8 in tax, 1.47 production, total of 5.27. So I'm making 13 in my capital of the Crimea, which the city name is Kirk Kirkier, I believe. Um, so I'm making 9.45 in tax, which is down to the fact it's a capital city, so I've boosted by tax base 2. Uh, tax income efficiency, it's a city, it's a core positive stability. So that gives 9.45, and then production, which is production efficiency, and then technology, and a total of 13.04, probably weld a bit much on that but whatever um so i could probably don't see any more of them for a while so i'll probably split my i'll just 
put, drop a few men down there and go for Astrakhan. So my if I <laughs> if I get it, and actually that's something I might do. So I can get them to negotiate for me. So they have the actual authority to actually give me uh, that province if I win it. They don't have to, it's obviously their choice, but uh, I've seen it a few times, especially in my handsaw the game. Uh, handsaw game anyways, I saw that happening a lot of times, even if they weren't even if I didn't have a claim or a core on them, they'd just give me them. But that siege seems to be going reasonably well. Ah, lost one stability, but still means I'm on zero, so that's okay. I don't want to lose another one though, because I want to try and save up as many admin points as I can, really. Uh, where's he going? He's only one use. So I won the siege of Manich. Uh, well, don't know where I head north. Might head. Well, actually, no, that's tax base one, ain't it? I will head north. Uh, I just want these to hurry up and win. Really? Can I actually get a piece with the uh, Austrians now? <laughs> and get a white piece. I can get Azov, I suppose. If I can get that and get them to annul treaties with Genoa. Oh, the Kong because Genoa is part of the Empire. That makes sense. Um, I could probably just take the one province, I think. Take one province and a bit of money. How much will it take? 45? So that means, so the penalty for this, as I'll just explain briefly. So I'll get two prestige. It doesn't cost me any diplomatic power because they were the war goal. I do get uh, something called aggressive expansion, which get, makes basically makes nations hate you more. It, and if you have too much aggressive expansion, uh, it make countries form coalitions against you. That means one of them attacks you, all the rest are going to attack you, and you can get a bit screwed up, especially. So you can't keep conquering over and over and over again. It's never going to go well. And I get overextension, which I'll show you once this piece is made. So there we go, I just got uh, Azov, they pay me for five ducats, I complete my mission, so now I gain five prestige. So I can now choose a new one, so I can either have the rival or rival, so Ak Konyu as an ally. Wait, Ak Konyu? I get mixed up with this car, Ak Konyu and Ak Konyu, they're the dangerous one, they're pretty, they're pretty naff, and as you can see, George has beaten them up. Um, Take Vosnarev, where's Vosnarev? Uh, I think that's part of the Golden Horde, yeah it is. Or I can claim Saritsin, which is there, so I'm not going to get that. Um, but this one's only improved relations, so I'll, I'll go with that. Um, so go on him, uh, relations, improved relations, so that uses up a diplomat. Uh, so now, since I've got the game paused, I'll briefly just explain over extension. Uh, that's on the stability tab, so I have overextension here. So I have to make this into a core province. So that will cost me diplomatic power, uh, not diplomatic power, admin power. So that's 64 points and it would take 17 months. So if I looked on Azov over here, I gain no tax from this. Simply one, because of its revolt risk, uh, which always happens when you capture a new province, basically. So that doesn't help. And the fact it's not a core, so that really doesn't help. I revolt risk 9.6. Um, which that's currently remaining at core, which will take until 1450. So that take, that'll take a while. Um, and I have a peasant revolt risk, so I'll spend 40 military power to do that. So that's fine. So that goes down to zero. I think it looks about 10%, I believe. So that's uh, alright. Um, I've just noticed it's a bit of a nightmare. You, you guys won't be able to see this, but I can't see the date in the top right hand corner because that's when my recording software blocked up. That's a bit annoying. Um I'll find a I'll find a solution around that. Uh, I've just won this siege. So attack them and manage. Easy battle should be won. Get there. There we go. And ooh, I didn't actually make a raw marriage with the Ottomans, that's pretty bad. Um what else? Uh I could try and peace out now gain two provinces, well I won't be able to gain two provinces, I think I'll gain one, I want a bit more than that I guess, I'll go up to here, because that seems to be where the units come, just having one unit won't be enough as they're trying to find out, 
having just one thousand units won't stop. It won't be able to commence uh, commence a siege. You'll be able to siege the province, but you won't gain any chance of conquering it because you won't have enough men. And I think once you upgrade your forts as well, that uh, you have to have more men over and over. It does take a while. Uh, so I need to win these sieges off here. Um, how is it no guy doing against Uzbek? Well, Uzbek's getting annihilated from all corners, really. They're now split up. Um, where else? Oh, no, I didn't realize that unit there. No guy's taking care of them. Thank you very much. Normally, uh, for my, well, I say normally in my multiplayer game, I found this out. No guy got dominated, really. So that's a uh, bit interesting. Actually, in the start, they weren't too bad, I guess. They were manageable. Ooh. And Sa Cyber just uh, declared peace. So Uzbek, uh, the end of the war, Uzbek become a vassal of no guy. You only should be able to the war. So uh, Uzbek will know that <laughs> needs a full stop in there. Uzbek and all trees. So I didn't gain anything, unfortunately, from this war, but it doesn't massively bother me. But the only thing that is a bit of a nightmare is uh because now I have a peace tree with uh, the golden horde so it means now if I would click on them and just say I want to declare war I do have caster's bellies but it's not going to matter because <laughs> I'll be breaking the truce which gives us minus 5 stability if I would go with no caster's belly I want to be breaking the truce but if that wasn't the case I'd still get minus 2 either way and aggressive expansion minus 70 wow that's huge um, <laughs> so that would be a problem I um, think uh, nothing much else we can do while the Ottomans are doing the island of Crimea has a mission of the city of the world's desire uh, do, do, they have many truces 